everyone and welcome to this next video in the trig series. This one is all about applying trigonometry to solve problems in three dimensions. So this is just an introductory video around working with three dimensions uh, and you'll see that it doesn't go into too much depth but it will give you that really good grounding for how to do these sorts of problems. Now it's all about visualizing. So you need to be able to visualize taking those three dimensional things and putting them into two dimensions. Now to be able to do that, some steps need to be followed. Uh, and those steps, first of all, as I said, you need to visualize in two dimensions. So visualize in two dimensions and draw a diagram I spell it correctly diagram with all relevant info so only need the relevant info. You don't need to add anything else unless it comes up a little bit later. So just what's in the question, don't need to add anything just yet. Use trig to find unknowns. So we want to find all the unknowns and we're going to use our trig ratios to do that. Then we're going to relate our two dimensional answers relate our two dimensional answers to the original three-dimensional object. Or space. Because you might not have one little object, you might have some things in, in the world that you're looking at. Now we have already done a bunch of work with trig ratios and working in two dimensions. Let's jump straight into the examples. Here's our example. We've only got the one. We're going to do a couple of things with this. We're going to take a vertical mast. So here's our vertical mast in the pink. We want to find the height of that vertical mast. So it is supported by two cables. Let's put the cables in. There's one cable. There's the other cable. All right, so we're supported by the two cables down to points A and B. Cable reaches point A is 36 meters, so that's our hypotenuse. And then it's at an angle of 48 degrees. Point B is 24 meters from the base of the mast. So we have all the information we need in that diagram and in that question to find the answers for question A and question B. So for A, find the height of the mast correct to three decimal places. So here's our mast, here's our bit to the base, there's point A, there's our hypotenuse, our hypotenuse being 36 meters and our angle being 48 degrees. We want to know the height. The height is the opposite side. And so since we're using the opposite side and the hypotenuse, we want to use the sine ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. Now I know the value of the angle, so I can pop that in. Sine 48 equals O, which we don't know, over 36, which we do know. So that's the hypotenuse. Do my little bit of algebra so multiply everything by 36 
I get 36 sine 48 equals O. And then I pop that into a calculator. Right, so we go 36 sine 48. So make sure that I have put 36 in. And then I hit equals and I get 26. Let's double check that 26.753. 26.7532 or 26.753 correct to three decimal places so always make sure you are rounding to the correct number of decimal places and if you check it because that next number is a 2 below halfway, we stay the same. Now for B over here, we now want to find this angle. The angle to the horizontal of the cable reaching point B. So we want to find this little bit in here. So this is going to be theta. So we have our mast, we have our base of 24 meters, we have point B, we have our mast height which is 26.753, I haven't written that very well, and then we need theta in here. Let's, let's fix this drawing up shall we? Not a very good drawing, let's do it again. Right, here's our mast, that's looking a bit better. This one is 24 and over here we've got 26.753. We actually have the adjacent side and the opposite side. So we don't have the hypotenuse, we have the adjacent and the opposite, which actually means we need to use tan. So we want the tan ratio for this one. Okay, the tan ratio. Now we pl plug in what we know. We don't know theta yet, so it will stay the same. Opposite side, well that's going to be our 26.753 all over 24. Now, we want theta on its own. So we go theta equals the inverse of tan. So that's going to be our little minus one. Inverse of tan, 26.753 over 24. We whack that into our calculator. Let's do that one. So we want second function tan. So we, whoop, it's not the one we want. Second function, tan, we want the one with the minus one. And we want our fraction, so we want 26.753. Make sure you press your buttons properly. There we go. Over 24. I'm going to close off my brackets. And I get 48.1048. 48.1048. But for this one, we only want two decimal places. So we can cut this off here. We look at that next number, it's a four. So it's just going to be 48.10. That is it. Now, normally we chuck in a sentence. We're not going to do that today. But that's it. That's all we're going to be doing. So just break down your problem into manageable bite size pieces and just do one bit at a time. Good luck with your questions guys and I'll see you in the next video.